Hi everyone, hey this is Kevin. I thought I would kind of share out how to make a website look 3D. And this is a tool that I learned from the Teach the Web MOOC. So I'm trying to bring what I learned from one MOOC into another MOOC. And I just think it's kind of a pretty neat uh, way to kind of look at the architecture of a website. Uh, the way it works is first of all you're going to need to be in uh, a more recent version of Firefox. And once you're in there you go to a website that you want to check out. In this case I'm at our Making Learning Connected site and you would right click on the page and then at the very bottom you're going to see um, an option called inspect element you click on that it's going to pull up some different tools um, let's see if I can kind of get you over to the box okay what I'm looking for right now is this box down in the bottom it says 3D view so I'm going to click on that and now what you're going to see let me just kind of get this back centered here a little bit and I'm going to pull this kind of tool out of the way a little bit. Um, what's pretty neat now, as you see, is that you have a 3D option to kind of check out a website. And um, let's see, I'm trying to, trying to pull it down a little bit. Um, I can use my mouse is what I'm doing here, just to kind of center it and kind of move it around a little bit. And if I click and just kind of drag the mouse around, what happens is you start to see a different kind of view of the website. And you'll notice, by the way, that things that are hyperlinked or have been used and kind of within the site itself uh, really kind of come to the surface in different interesting ways. Um, it's a really kind of fascinating way to kind of look at uh, the way that media and links are being used at a site and also just to give you a different viewpoint of how things look. Let's see if I can spin you around to the back of the site. There we are. Yeah. MOOC backwards. Yeah, give it a try on your own site and see what you have popping out of your ideas. Thanks for listening.